show that we brought my parents to the last one, which I think was in the summer. And you guys were so great about honoring them on their anniversary. And I just I got such a kick out of listening to the old TV commercials, the jingles. Yeah. And seeing the Golden Girls live like that was fantastic, and we're really looking forward to come. We're coming on Saturday night, actually. Oh, great. And um, we're bringing um, my boyfriend, Rob, mother, Sheila, who's visiting from New York, mm -hmm. and we're really excited about coming. Mm -hmm. And I just want to wish you all happy holidays, and uh, have a good night. When are Matthews, when, when, when are your parents coming to the show? We're coming this Saturday on the 27th. With the folks? The folks are coming, too? You betcha. Oh, wonderful. Okay, you, you know what I wanted to ask you, Mary? Hi, it, Heclina. Hi, honey. You know what I wanted to ask is that we would love to come do the Golden Girls at the retirement home that your parents are in. <gasps> that would be brilliant. Wouldn't that, Wouldn't that be, be fun? Great? Oh, my so, God. Well, that would be fantastic. I think that would be so fun. We'll, we'll oh, have to talk uh, to Matthew about that. Don't tease me because I'd go down there and watch it again as well. That would be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a lovely evening and looking forward to seeing you all Saturday night. Thank, Thank you, you, Mary. Happy, Happy holidays. That's, that brings up another point. You do a lot of work for a lot of a variety of uh, worthy causes. Mm -hmm. Anything you'd like to say about any of that work? Um, no, it's just kind of like, well, I think that I have to feel supportive of the cause. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And really, really passionate about it. Um, so, no, I don't feel like I have to really, but I, I don't really like to toot my own horn about it either. No, I, I think that. I think I think a lot of people do, they do things just so they can say, I'm doing this, mm -hmm. or I just prefer to just do it and give the money to the beneficiary and not make a big deal out of it. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, I would like to, like, every run that we do of Golden Girls, I'd like to start adding shows so that we can make it, you know, a benefit, a benefit for an organization. Um, maybe an organization for elder abuse or something like that. Sure. Something that has something to do with, not not to do with the Golden Girls, but you know, senior citizens. Mm -hmm. You know, community. Yeah. So anyway, the, okay, the reality show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> I had I signed a I, I shot two pilots for reality shows. I was all set to end Tranny Shack at ten years because I was over it. I mean, Tranny Shack was so great, but producing a weekly show, having to promote it produce it, host it, you know, all that stuff was just exhausting. But um, I shot two different pilots with two production companies, and one of them actually got all the way up to New Line. I signed a contract with New Line. I was going to all the lunches, and then it got, they sold, they were selling it to Showtime. It got all the way up to the upper echelons of Showtime, and then they passed on it, and then it was kind of dead in the water. And I was like, okay, now I can end Tranny Shack. And that was a two and a half year process of trying wow. to sell a show. And, um, just before I ended Tranny Shack, I got a call from another production company, and we shot a pilot, and we're now going to try and sell it. And this is a different idea, and I'm hoping that it gets sold. And maybe you guys can tell me if you think it's a good idea or not. But it's almost like a Priscilla, Queen of the Desert thing. Uh -huh. I have a friend who has a bus, like a Partridge Family bus, um, like a school bus. Mm -hmm. I have a friend that has a bus, and we're going to take the show on the road and stop off in really unconventional towns and venues and do these shows. So it's very Americana. That sounds I love incredible. It. That now, sounds wonderful. One th one one reason we think that the shows were not picked up in San Francisco, uh, or they were, they were not picked up, was the show was too San Francisco centered. Okay. So yeah. like Middle America or whoever could not relate to it. So we're going to take the show into Middle into America. Into Middle America. <laughs> do the show in places like Iowa. I love or that Montana idea. and you know in bowling alleys or pizza parlors. Can you know I be in I mean? it? <laughs> well, we'll have to do an audition. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> Stu, don't you think... Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and steal labeling away from you. Because wouldn't it be fun? I've always thought it would be great to do a live talk show with, like, um, almost like a Johnny Carson mm -hmm. variety show. Yes. But you know how Johnny Carson always had his sidekick? Like, <laughs> Absolutely. Like Ed McMahon? Yep. Um, and Dame Edna had her sidekick, too, Madge. Yeah, yeah. D wouldn't it be fun? I would love to have Labeline as my sidekick. <laughs> All she'd have to do is sit on the couch and, like, laugh. And <laughs> like, just like that. Don't you think she'd be great? It would be I great. Would I mean, it really would be wonderful. <laughs> you know, I really mean that. But you're going to have to shoot it out with me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, but I think it would be honor. great. I, I think that that would just have a big audience right here, and you mm -hmm. could really, really grow that audience. Yeah, yeah. I, do. I think that's yeah. a terrific idea.
Yeah. I mean, the reason we're doing it is because we think there's a huge audience to just talk to people, you know, in conversation. Right. What they're doing, what they want to do, where they've been, all this kind of stuff. You know? Speaking of which, I think Labeling had some questions for me that she had written. She down. always does. Yes, honey. Well, you know, do you have any do you have any beauty tips or uh, pointers for like up and coming drag queens, young, you know, that want to kind of like do what you've done, what you've accomplished, or do you just think that the stars were all just aligned at the right time for you, or, or what would you what would you say to to up and coming queens? Well, I would say that the stars were aligned for me in the sense that that it was the right place and the right time mm -hmm. to start Tranny Shack, but I also really worked my ass off mm -hmm. doing it mm -hmm. um, and promoting it, and and I basically I I took the ball and ran with it for twelve and a half years, but I never was able to really rest. Mm -hmm. So if anybody wants to make it. You have to work really hard to do mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. oh, we got oh. one more caller. One last call. Welcome, Hello, caller. caller. Hello, caller. Are you there? No. Nope. nope. Okay. Hung up. Well. Sorry, caller. <laughs> so you have to really work at what you do. I think a lot of people want notoriety or success or whatever, but they don't want to do any put any kind of work into it. Right. So. Right. I'm crying. Oh, my tears. That, oh. My tears running. <laughs> <laughs> Well, is there any last things you want to say out there to the television community? Um, oh, doing the countdown now. Yeah, I have 35 there. seconds to say what I have to <laughs> say. Um, I would just say thank you, San Francisco. You know, it's been a, it's, it's been a real honor just being here and seeing all the changes over the years mm -hmm. working in San Francisco. Uh, mm -hmm. It's such a, uh, such a welcoming city, and uh, they welcome all different types. So, and I'm really honored that stuff people like you are doing what you're doing you know, and keeping keep, keeping that, that kind of spirit alive. Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you. Thank you for now. being here. Mm -hmm. We're honored. Happy, Happy holidays, holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Thanks Yay. so much for watching. Yay. And we'll be on in two weeks. Okay. And okay. thank you, Label Lean. It's thank always you. a joy. <laughs> That's thank you. It. That Thanks. was it. That was that. that. It just flies <laughs> by, doesn't it? Yeah. So your idea is a great idea. I and I think, oh I think you could.